Hey everyone, welcome back! I still try to finish off the, the monkey in this one. Okay. It shouldn't be that bad, actually. But this is the, the thing that sucks. That you can fall down into the pits if you get unconscious with Mario. Ah! Okay, give me the barrel. Huh? The barrel is going away from me. Okay, I think I got him now. Yes, ha. And suddenly the wind doesn't affect us anymore. And the wind didn't affect the dress of the princess or the hair of the monkey. But well, this game is old, I guess, 1994. So I think that's okay. So here we see stuff that can happen. But it's nothing you wouldn't find out anyways. Only that the flame is burning away the ice. I mean, wow. Who might have guessed that? But the airplane is ours. And now we are at the iceberg. And here it gets a lot harder. I guess it's nine worlds. Nine or eight or nine worlds in total. So, here we have to wait until the fire thingy lets us through. And then we have to be careful, of course. Can't believe it. Yeah, well, but uh, as I can tell you, Mario games, I love Mario games. Unfortunately, I haven't played all of them. It would have been cool. Yeah, but it's a sad thing. Okay, I have to see how I get up there. Because I think I can't. They have to destroy this. Ah, okay. Now we can close this. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm not sure. I guess this one closes. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, easy. Like this. Oh my god, sometimes I really am sleeping, I guess. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, we're going through level and level and level. But I'm thinking about the games I played first. I, I can't remember the first video game I played ever. Because I started to play games with the uh, with the Amiga. Okay, where the heck do I have to go? Is there something down here? Ah, okay, then I can wait a long time. Ah, getting attacked by seafood. Ah! Okay, what is he doing to me? Stop it! Stop it! Okay, how do I get rid of him like this? I played a lot of Amiga games. And, uh, what else? Like C64? Um, that was a funny thing because I don't know if it was published over the, uh, over there where you live too, but because um, a lot of people couldn't afford a Nintendo back then, some people knows knows. Some people created a game that is absolutely like Super Mario. It's called Diana Sisters, and. Um, it's the same worlds and same stuff as in Super Mario, except that you're playing with two sisters, the Diana sisters. The items are a little different. You uh, play with no, with not with mushrooms and stuff. It's, it's some kind of a glowing uh, ball or something. Oh come on! Uh, and. Uh, uh, it was for the C64, so it was easier for people to play it, it was easier to afford. And I hate a walrus. In uh, Silent Hill 4, a walrus gets a baby. That doesn't make it better. I guess they call it Wally then. I can't remember. Um, yeah, and so we have the Gigana Sisters here, and most of the people didn't have Mario. I mean, most people who, who could afford a, a, a Nintendo were 
really richer people like people who have these house building companies and, and stuff. Okay, I will kill you now. I knew a girl, uh, her father had this, uh, had a house building company and she had all of this stuff that was new like Game Boy and uh, like Game Boy and, 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 and a Nintendo, they had the Nintendo with DuckTales and all of that, it was amazing. I was always sitting there and watching and she is, when her brother was playing and she was getting angry because she wanted me to, to be with her and I went over to her place to, to play with her of course. And she was so pissed when I always watched her brother playing with the Nintendo. Yes, I was a weird kid. I am still weird. I don't know. It's, it's, it's really interesting if you think back for yourself. Um, how computer games... Ouchie. How computer games were in your life. How, the, how did they start to get into your life? How did anything happen? And I think that's really interesting. I mean, I remember when my father brought home the first uh, Windows computer and it was like, whoa, what is this? Oh, you see that the door is hidden, by the way. <laughs> and I played the uh, uh, Shanghai Mayong thingy game. Oh, I love this. I really love the game. Played this all over and over. And there also was a game, uh, Minesweeper, I played that a lot. And of course, ah! Ah! Of course, Solitaire. Okay, that was easy. What games were, were on the computer? It had, I guess it's Windows 3.11? And we gave it to my grandma lately and she started to play the, <laughs> play the game to play Shanghai and she totally got addicted to it and now she has she bought herself a notebook and she plays solitaire all the time it's just interesting to to see her doing this she's 80 years old and she's totally interested in computer stuff I think that's amazing if you if you really think back how everything started I mean I remember when I blah, I remember when I bought my first Game Boy oh I can't pick that one up it was so cool when when my grandma came home with the Game Boy and I was like, oh my god, I love this Game Boy. I never let it go. <laughs> with Quirk and Tetris and Super Mario. That was great. Oh, and now it's just like, oh my god, I got 20 uh, euro now. I can buy me a new game. It's not like you wait for stuff anymore. It's, it's just... I don't know. It was it was funny when you were younger and you uh, wanted something, and when you got it, you were totally amazed and gone for weeks in your room just to play. <laughs> and now it's I don't know. It changed a lot. So let's do these guys. Let's do let do la. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, I don't really understand. I think they have to open it totally. So I can go through. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yes, I think that's the right way to do it. Ah, oh, you get attacked, you get attacked, you get attacked. But well, I think you know what I mean. Appreciating the stuff you get uh, has changed a lot. Okay, now we can go up there. We now have like a lot of tons of games here I have never played before. Um, this one goes here. Um. Okay, let me see. We have to get the flames somehow up there. Okay, ah, 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 totally logical. Like this. Where's the flame? There is the flame. And then it works. 
Can we do this? No! Okay, that is stupid. And let's do it like this. Now it works. Oh, oh, flame is coming. No, 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 no! It was so hard. Oh my gosh. Another episode with failing at the end. See you in the next one. Bye.